Welcome to Extra Throttle House. I'm Thomas. And I'm James. And this is the channel where we do casual, quick, easy, relaxed reviews. Is that concise? Is that the new intro? Is that it? I like that. I did it. I'm going to forget it next time. And this today. is the Tundra. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we had to mismatch somewhere. Okay. Yeah. This is the Tundra. <laughs> well done. The new Tundra. And this is the, you know, Mid middle. Middle trim. And it's not, yeah. you know, we've we, actually, bit of disclaimer here, we got to play with the big orange fully trimmed yeah with it light had bar. like the light bar and all the new tech but it was a prototype and it was it was a little bit too glitchy not too good as well that's what pro prototypes are for they're yeah. working out the bugs and the materials didn't match what the final would be and, yeah and we got to the point where we were just like you know what this isn't representative we're gonna wait for a production vehicle and here it is here it is and this isn't 80 grand it's no. 56 this aspect. is actually an affordable truck yeah. Affordable. Every every time we say affordable, imagine quote marks because yes, everything costs a fortune. Fifty grand is not affordable. It's way too much money. Uh, the, part of the reason why it has jumped up is because it has the TRD package. Right. Yeah. It's it's like a quality item that TRD <laughs> package. Well, you know that isn't going anywhere though. Just like you know how like It'll some buff it in the wind. No, but some buildings need sway. <laughs> Oh, I see. So, so, some, so, so some engineer engineered that in. It's like a bridge. Yeah. It's supposed to move a certain degree. Exactly. Got it. Yeah. Anyway, this is the new design. Yeah. I like the look of this thing, actually. Yeah. I have the problem where I never care because it just looks like a truck. <laughs> it looks like a truck. But I, I don't mind it. It's like, yeah. This is a lot of grill, but you know. Yeah. Like our, our Ram is sitting right there. And if aliens came down and looked <laughs> at these two, they would just go, I assume these are both of the same yes, species. These are utilities. <laughs> right, yeah. Uh, but it's in a nice red. Uh, we've got, as, a, as a result of the TRD, we have some TRD badging. We've got it here. We've got the, the wheels. Tw 20 inch wheels. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And some TRD on the back. I don't know. It's kind of. I like the new design. Okay, so the, the, the most important thing here is that you buy a Toyota truck because they're reliable. Yes, right? That's yeah. the main reason. Um, the previous gen had a V8. This no longer has a V8. This has a twin turbo V6. And, I'm gonna assume that since it's a Toyota Twin Turbo V6, it's gonna be. That's the hope. It's gonna be That's good. Hope, yeah, because we, we, we drove the 5.7 liter. And yeah, and, it, and it's horrible on fuel. Yeah. And but you know it'll just kind of go forever. That's the idea. But the issue that I had with that truck was that the suspension was too loopy, and the steering was like I think what was the word? You I called used? it dangerous. 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 The, it was so light you had no idea what was going on. And, and this has done a couple things to remedy that. One, this obviously is an entirely new truck. And two, the rear suspension in this is now coil spring. Instead of leaf spring. Instead of leaf spring. Yeah. So let's see if we can drive it and maybe it'll fix a few of the issues that I had. Okay. Right, do you want to rock, paper, scissors for who drives? I don't know how, but you cheat. You do cheat. I? Do I? There's a, if this is a squid game, I'm getting shot. So we're going to go three, two, one, go. And you throw on go. Okay. Ready? Ready yeah. Yeah. Three, two, one, go. What's he? What's up his sleeve? I... Okay, here we go. Now, oh, yeah. So this is the issue with uh, like my like the Ram uh, has four auto, which you can. It's kind of like rear wheel drive most of the time for efficiency, but then it cuts in the four wheel drive when you need. Right. This doesn't have that. It's got you know classic transfer case, four high, four low. So now that we're kind of I think maybe on some like all terrain tires and it's snowy out, and there's no weight in the bed. We got no grip in the well, rear. This is, so we're, just to be clear, we're in the SR, SR double, cab double cab with the TRD Sport package. Yes. So as a result of that, not only do we get that steering wheel, which yep. I can't decide is cool or an abomination. <laughs> I agree, yeah, there's uh, a lot going on. The shifter, which yeah. feels like it's a joystick from a gaming rig. Yep. Uh, and also you've got TRD Sport tuned shock absorbers. Okay. With the 20 inch wheels. So this probably rides Sporty, we can only imagine because we haven't tried the other one. But even though it has the, the uh, it's, a, it's a bit jiggly. You feel yeah, that? yeah. So it's, yeah. even though we've got the coil springs, there is quite a lot of motion going on. It's definitely like it feels a, more controlled than the, the other one that we tested, which was a mid trim. Um, but the, right off the bat, the biggest thing here is that like if you're getting a new Tundra, one of the reasons you get a new Tundra is that it's kind of like the showcase for all of Toyota's new tech. Well, because historically, if Toyota's come up with something, they stick to it for 15 years. Right. So the old Tundra was, I think it started in 2007. So this is yes. the next 15 years now. Well, it's not though, because unless you get the, the highest end one, 
this is the gauge cluster from a previous gen that's been gussied up a bit. Like yeah. that's the center s screen that's been in. And this is the, an everything. eight inch instead of a 14 inch. Yeah, so I've, I've tested both of those things and they're really easy to use. The gauge cluster looks great. But this like, is their new multimedia suite. Um, yes. And, it, and I've got on with it, apart from one thing, the wireless carpe still glitches and crashes and kicks me out of it. But fortunately, if you stick a cable in there, you have wired carplay, which has been fine. Okay. And these buttons are all lovely. They feel like Lexus buttons. They, yeah. they might yeah. actually be. Well, they're probably the same tech, yeah. But yeah. they're actual buttons, which is really nice. Um, I like the, I, I do like a real gear selector. Yeah. It's nice. It's you refreshing. Miss it, don't you? Yeah, you it's miss refreshing it. to be able to just go boom, boom into gear. These seats are a little bit simple. I would say. But yeah, then, they're also not that. They're also not that wide. I was hoping to be a little. I guess they're decently they're pretty, wide. They're pretty wide. Yeah, but like they, there's wider seats out there. Is what I'm saying. Good headroom, no sunroof on this one. But I mean, the, see, there's not a lot to talk about, and that's maybe a good thing. Yeah, this is right? this is the truck you get if you're like, I need a truck. I don't want to think about it. Yes. Give me something that's reliable. Yeah. Gonna last and isn't crazy expensive because the Ram, which you like. Yeah. It was what eighty something Canadian? Yeah, exactly. We got a deal on it, thankfully, because yeah. it was you know previous kind of year or whatever, and it was like, technically used. And we just but... we just tested a red, twin turboed V6, truck, which was a Raptor, which was a hundred and ten thousand. Yes. So this is half that, exactly half, half that. price. Yeah, and foot down. You don't need more than that. I mean, in a truck, you don't. You, you honestly don't. You don't need don't. more than that. Yeah, I, I do. I do. Uh, I do think this is an improvement over the previous gen in terms of like just overall refinement the steering feels better um but again the cool thing about the new tundra is that you can get now a toyota with technology that can rival fords yeah and it has the hybrid engine as well option this is not hybrid. this, this is, is not hybrid yeah so so like that's 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 the thing so i, I totally get what this is yeah. Um, and you're right. If you're like a contractor looking for just a reliable truck and you yeah. want some, it tows like, twelve thousand pounds. Yeah, exactly. That's actually that's really good. Isn't as much as is that the lane assist? <laughs> yes, lane assist, big truck. That's not as much as the F one hundred and fifty can tow, but for like, you know, you have the race uh, race car trailer. For More example. than enough. More than enough to tow the race car trailer. I, I will say, I mean, the truck guys are, are shouting right now. Um, you know, if you're doing a lot of towing, a turbocharged engine isn't going to be as reliable. Right, it's just one of those things. That's what they're going to be saying, right? Whether or not that's true in this case, we don't know. But but, but this exists in an in-between time where the Silverado EV is about to come out. Yes. The Ford Lightning's coming. Yeah. So, as far as like, you know, I get that the V8 is better for towing and 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 that stuff, but there's the EV trains where the range is going to dis disappear immediately. Yep. This is still better than that if you want to tow. This is still better than that if you want to tow. Or oh, if you live in a cold climate, sorry Thomas, the uh, the steering wheel only heats the very outside 180 degrees. I mean, yeah, I'm feeling that. Yeah. So this morning when it was freezing, right, it's like minus six here today. If Unless you hold the steering wheel with the very tips of your fingers on the edge. Like this? It was ice cold in the middle. <laughs> it, it felt like something that had been microwaved from the freezer badly. Hey, you know what? At least it's got a heated steering wheel. There's a, something there. But what's the new marker for? Don't tell me you're bar hard. <laughs> yeah, this one does not get away I, with I, it. I love the feeling of the perforated lever, but yeah, the, yeah. The, the new marker. The new marker is like, what is that? I, like, would, you're I, not... would, I would save the money on the, I would save a couple of grand because you and can still don't get, the, get the TRD. Get the SR5 package, which yeah. still has the heated seats. It yep. still has the blind spot detections yep. and the safety stuff. Um, but yeah, the, the TRD, unless you really need red striping and that sport tuned shocks. I, I don't yeah, know. like I think that money I think would be better put towards the the, the top trim where you get the big screens but, and, but and you, all the But you have to pay for that. It's a lot of money. It's, it's a, a lot of it's money. It's in the 70s. I, yes. I, I, I'm more curious to know what happens if you just need a truck, especially with on the Toyota end. Someone buying this just wants the reliable thing. And they can get the gadgets now if they want. Yeah. But I think this is going to be the most purchased spec. I will say that this is a little bit like anecdotal, but from my memory, compared to the previous gen, there's more headroom in this Tundra than there was in like a mid-trim previous gen Tundra. Yeah. And you know what? That's nice. That looks like it's working pretty well. Yeah, yeah. the 8-inch right? CarPlay is fine. Right? That's fine. And this is the base sound system. <laughs> and this is the base sound system. Yeah. Which, it's really not bad, by the way. Yeah? And rocking out, it's, it, there's more warmth, there's more depth and bass to it than I thought there would be. Yeah, okay. 
Um, oh, you also, sorry, you also get a TRD start-stop button. Oh, 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 oh. Which is everything. Still. Oh my God, that's so annoying. Okay, how do I? See, you get safety features now. <laughs> you know? Seriously. It is so intrusive. There's a way to turn off. I don't know where it is. Um, anyway, that, that, that's what I'm... Oh, it's right here. We're good. You have to hold it. Hold it down. The, oh, it's active. I've turned something on You've now. You've turned on lane centering assist. Oh, does it work? Yeah, but you need to hold hold it down. Hold I'm that testing button down. It. I'm testing it. I'm testing. I'm doing testing. Okay. Is it going to drive? Kind of bounced me off the lane there. It seems to be working. Is it turning me, though? Or is it just going to take me... Nope. It just takes me right to the edge. That's a bummer. It might, maybe because you're not on the highway. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh, you said Toyota. Oh, Wait, this has Toy Hey Toyota. Hey Toyota. What do you want to do? Is it better than Mercedes maybe? Can you, what's the weather today? That's too easy. Mercedes. Sorry, I'm having trouble understanding you. Oh no. What's the weather today? Hey Toyota. What can I do for you? What's the weather today? Come on, you got this. Sorry, you have to be subscribed to cloud service to use weather feature. Wow, to learn more got about it. What you can ask me, please say help. No, just go away. Okay. Okay, these these things, these Hey Mercedes, Hey Toyota, are garbage. They're so useless. There's, we've tried it in every brand, they're all crap. <laughs> I know, it's just... Like, especially considering they're going up against, like, Siri in Hey Google, right? Like, there's there's no chance that they can come anywhere close to what we expect. And this one, she she didn't even go subscribe. <laughs> okay, great. Yeah. Anyway, um, no, like, listen, this is an improvement over the previous gen. I do like it. If you're looking for a truck that's not too much money, that's got the, techno the basic technology you, technology you do need, yeah, the main things is that the steering's got better, the yes. suspension is better. This is all the power you need. Yep. Big question though. Yeah. How long is it until there's the Tundra EV announcement? They're all doing it. Yeah. Well, there is the Tundra hybrid. They're going in the right direction, right? And, but yeah. Yeah, my fuel economy, we have an average very good fuel economy here. It's not much better than the previous gen, so there is that. Uh, yeah, and you can't get a V8 now. You cannot get the V8. Right, that's a bit of a bummer, I suppose, but um, yeah. Listen, overall, it is very good. I like it. I like it a lot. It's an improvement. I think the interior is definitely an improvement. If you're looking for, if you can, okay, here's the thing. If you're looking in the 80 grand range for a truck or yeah. whatever, 65 US, sure. this is a, the, the, this one with the new tech is a genuine competitor now to Ford and Ram. Yeah, that's that's it, the it story was, here. It was ancient. It was ancient. It was ancient. That's the awesome. story yeah. here, right? That, the tech now exists. So when you're shopping for a, if you want like a, if you're the foreman, you know, and you and you want a, a luxurious truck, yeah, check out the Toyota now. You, I never you, said that before. You need, you need not envy the Ram owner next to you, right? Who wears a stupid beanie. Hey, 